Hey, thanks so much for uh, jumping in uh, to watch this video. Um, thank you so much. I really value your time um, and I really hope that you learn something really useful in the next few minutes. Today's topic is multiplier. Okay. In the last video, I covered parallel multiplier um, or uh, yeah, so or you call it array multiplier okay now we are looking into serial multiplier it's also called um, add and shift multiplier and you will see that because we will be doing addition and then shifting things and we do that um, because um, if we have only one full adder available which is the case of an ALU so if you have um, a core uh, it has arithmetic logic unit and that has one adder and then you want to do multiplication in the previous example I mentioned you need half adder you need full adders and all that so how many of them I was counting this and where did I put all that so I have here four half adders okay half adder has this circuit two gates so total for four there are eight gates then I also counted I had about eight full adders full adders if you remember from my uh, videos on adders then they have five gates that means it will have 40 gates so if you have a lot of these <laughs> adders and uh, you can afford to have these many then what you do is you uh, you gave the two numbers and after a little bit delay because uh, the, the data and the current travels through multiple circuits or gates will have some delay so after a certain delay you will have the output but the luxury is you can do a parallel a multiplication but in the case of if you have one core you have a, a CPU uh, which is running a program in C and there you are doing a multiplication eventually that is converted to machine language machine language is stored in a memory from a memory um, cpu uh, pulls instructions one by one and when it pulls instruction for multiplication it brings two number that it needs to multiply now it has if you're talking about a core that has one adder then you need to use one adder to do multiple multi multiplication uh, sorry multiple additions so you multiply so you uh, add you shift you add you shift and that is the process that you can do with one ad full adder now this will be not a one bit adder i mean a basic entity is one bit adder but let's say we are talking about a four bit cpu typically we talk about 32 bit 64 bit 16 bit but just for an example is a four bit cpu that means the operands are 4-bit, results will be 4-bit. In that case, when you have one full adder, all you have to do is just to come up with some algorithm that you shift the data, you bring the new data in, and then you add uh, some sort of combination of that. And that is exactly the algorithm. First, I will explain you, and then you will see that um, how a single unit can be used for that but what what will happen what is the disadvantage you will see that it's a very sequential process you bring two uh, things you store the result now when it comes to storing storing is important um, storing the temporary information or temporary results somewhere you need to store the uh, multiplier and multiplicand somewhere too because you don't want them to change once you want a mul want, once you want to multiply two numbers multiplicand and multiplier you want to make sure that you have these things stored somewhere stored we haven't studied storage thing yet and that is what gonna come into sequential but what is storage means uh, once you load and this is called a register and we will study them in detail so you need to store data here preventing it from changing 
store a store b and the the hardware that you you use to storing binary is called register we will study the details of register what is register uh, composed of similarly output which is a product so if this is four bit this four bit how many bits this will have zero to seven eight bit so again you store it and the capability of the sequential or the storage elements is that you can decide when this information here can really be loaded here okay uh, I just put some random numbers so this is up to you so you load the information into these registers when you need it and then you start shifting things and within registers you can shift the bits to the right side and to the left side so after we finish multiplication uh, we will look into division and then i will also do one video on shifting bonny data within registers uh, left and right and shifting itself the logic of shifting is a combination so that's why we will study that but for now you just think okay these are registers and when you want you can put a new information onto them and as long as you want this will not change this will stay there and these are the storage elements within the chip okay so after we have covered that now we will look into the flow the flow of binary data and how they are multiplied this video might be a little bit longer than my usual videos uh, but and it can also be a little confusing uh, just watching the video I think you will not understand it you might understand it or you might think you understand it but you really need to practice this so as a first example take the same numbers that I have and 